Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dustin Redemption back with another video. I'd like to remind you to please smash the like button and hit subscribe before we get started because it helps you know me get seen in the algorithm more on YouTube and it'd be so much appreciated. But anyways, breaking news on the Oregon Duck front again. Per Matt Zaintz of On Free Sports, uh, Tosh Lupoy will be hired as Oregon co-defensive coordinator once the Jacksonville Jaguars season ended. Apparently, it's a done deal. Uh, Matt Prim of 247, 247 Sports also talked about it on his podcast as well. So, it looks like that's a done deal. Tosh Lupoy will be a duck. Um, my initial thoughts and reaction is I think this is huge. This is a huge hire. You know, it's a grand slam, especially when it comes to recruiting. You know, Tosh is responsible for recruiting seven five-star players when he was at Alabama and stuff, and 22 four-star players. You know, he's also, I'm looking at my notes. He's, you know, recruited guys like Tua, you know, Nosh Harris and Jalen Waddell. You know, some big names out there, you know. The list goes on, too. You can look that up also on 247 Sports. It has his whole recruiting profile. I think it's a massive hire. Um... There is some concerns about character, I will say, a little bit. You know, he has had recruiting violations in the past, paying players. You know, with NIL, that might not be as much of a big deal now. But he's also, you know, had people fake some injuries on the field. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, he rec you know he was at Cal, and he was recruiting players to go to Washington while being employed at Cal because he was taking a job there. So things like that are a little questionable. Um, hopefully, coaching the NFL kind of fix some of that maybe he you know has learned that's what we can hope you know because we don't want recruiting violations in Oregon we don't want that I trust that Dan Lanning has looked into this stuff you know Dan Lanning himself seems like a man of character so hopefully you know he evaluates some of these guys before he hires them because you know I see nothing but upside if that stuff isn't a problem anymore if Tosh Lupoy you know, Chris Ball left, and, you know, we thought, oh, boy, recruiting was going to take a dip, which it did. National Signing Day, early National Signing Day was not a very good, but hopefully, you know, with Lou Poy on and then Adrian Clem just got hired officially today from Pittsburgh. Mike Tomlin told him he can go start with the Ducks. You know, he's also a good recruiter. Hopefully with Lou Poy, Lanning, Clem, uh, Dillingham, and uh, Matt Powell, Matt Pouchow, so I always get his name wrong. We can get some of our recruits back, or even some new ones, because, boy, do we need it. But, you know, so far, Lanning's putting a very impressive staff together. I'm very impressed. Um, he also has Tuati, who's a defensive line coach from Nebraska, you know. All great hires. Tosh Lupo, I would say, is the biggest hire so far, though. Massive, you know. You can't, how, you can't look over the names of, like, Tua... And, uh, let me look it up again. I'm just in shock with this hire. Tua and, uh, Jalen Waddle and, um, let me read you some more names. I just pulled up his complete notch here. It's Shaq Thompson. When he's at Washington, got him. Keenan Allen, Cal got him. You know, he's had a lot of guys. He recruited a lot of five-star guys. He helped develop them, you know. That's the big thing is, you know, if he's a good, he's a great recruiter. Hopefully he'll be a good coach. You know, I don't know how Jacksonville's front seven on defense line's done this year. But, you know, when it comes to recruiting home run hire, you know, as long as the character issues are out of the way, then it should be amazing. You know, this is a big get for the Ducks. I'm excited. Dan Lanning's putting a heck of a great staff together. And finally, go Ducks. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And, all right, have a good day, guys.